you by Sunbeam, the best electric appliances made. Announcing new, the all-new Sunbeam Dual Deluxe Vacuum Cleaner, America's newest, most powerful home cleaner to give you the best on-the-floor cleaning and above-the-floor cleaning. Now, let's all play What's My Line? Let's meet our award-winning panel of What's My Line. First, the popular columnist whose voice of Broadway appears in papers coast to coast, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. If you heard laughter emanating from backstage, it's only because our guest panelist this evening is a very funny and very talented fellow. He's starring in the motion picture Huckleberry Finn, and he has a new imperial record out called, oddly enough, by his own name, Tony Randall. It is my pleasure to introduce the only actress I know who gets up at 4 o'clock every morning, only because this month she is standing in for Dave Garraway on The Day Show, Arlene Francis. And now a gentleman who has just been spending the weekend with an author. The author is Morse Hart. He's been trying to persuade him to start act two. Here he is, Bennett Cerf. Not a chance, he's got to finish Camelot first. That's true. Well, here is our brilliant, witty, handsome pal moderator and the man who wrote this introduction for me, Mr. John Charles <laughs> Daly. I'm nonplussed. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to What's My Line. It's nice to have Tony Randall back with us on the panel because it gives us an opportunity to line Tony up with Bennett Surf and see if we can't knock him off, too, which will be a joy tonight, I must say. We'll also have a famous mystery guest before the panel a little bit later in the show, and we'll meet our first challenger after this word. And now let's meet our first challenger. Will you enter and sign in, please? Lawrence N. Snyder. Snyder. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Mr. Snyder, where are you from? Upper Arlington, Ohio. Upper Arlington in Ohio. That's, well, you have some, have some neighbors here, which is good moral support, I'm sure. May I present our panel? Snyder? Will you join me over here, please, sir? Do you know how we keep score on What's My Line? Yes, I believe I do. All right, in that event, we'll let the audience at home and those who've been good enough to come and join us in the theater know exactly what your line is. <laughs> All right, panel, we will tell you that Mr. Snyder is salaried and that he deals in a service and we'll begin the general questioning with um, Dorothy Kilgallen. Uh, Mr. Snyder, would you consider yourself in some way an executive? No, I believe not. Uh, I think actually that that is a proper answer, but this is not to suggest that there is not an administrative function connected in some way with what Mr. Snyder does. <laughs> One down and nine to go, Mr. Randall. Mr. Snyder, I just can't help asking. You seem so tan and fit. Are you an outdoors man? Yes. And your service is an outdoors type of service? Yes. You seem to be the athletic type. Is, is that your general area? Yes. You perform service in athletics. Is it a service uh, for um, youths? Yes. Youths, as we say? Youths. Youths, Youths can enjoy it. <laughs> yes. Principally young men? Yes. Well, I think here again, though, Tony, not to mislead you, we would assume that those who are uh, very active in the area of athletics would be, would tend to be, at least in the main, uh, young men up to 55 or 60, mm -hmm. 
Well, now. <laughs> Thanks, oh, Or younger. Uh, yeah. <laughs> or younger. Are you an athletic coach of some sort? Yes. Now, it's up to us to dis discover what kind, huh? Yes, sir. Hmm. Would it have anything to do with, um, water as opposed to land? Do you mean, well, in other words, would it be restricted to water as Would it be an aquatic to... sport? Restricted no. to an aquatic sport. That's two down and eight to go, Miss Francis. Uh, is it a sport that can be performed at the Olympics? Yes. Is it a sport that has anything to do with, uh, Wait, do you need any accessories for this sport to perform it? Small conference. There's no sport you wouldn't. Yeah, running, you just need shoes. You fight shows. Some men are running with bare feet. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Pardon me. Sometimes. You Sometimes, know what did you say? Mm -hmm. uh, do the people, when they are performing this sport, perform it in, uh, uh, in a team? rather than singly? Both, I would say. Both. Uh, does it have anything to do with running? Yes. Is it a racing sport of some kind, like the 60-minute uh, mile or something? 60-minute <laughs> <laughs> mile. Yes. A one-minute mile. Nine. A good mile is a one minute. <laughs> Charlene, you just busted it wide open. 60-minute mile of a one-minute mile. 60-minute mile of a one-minute. Nine-minute mile. Four-minute mi four it yes. is. Four and they've minutes. broken that, haven't they? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. is not that I what personally. It, not you personally? <laughs> do, you, uh, do you coach young men in the racing meets? Yes. Olympic coach. Well, yes, but uh, is, are you an Olympic coach for the racing meet? Yes. <laughs> I get home. You've got one. Mile. You've got one more to go. Oh, I'm not it. Not in. You got one more to go. Olympic coach. Now, what else could he be beside the Olympic? Oh, I just tipped. Manager. Those. What? Uh, uh, administrator. He's running the American track team. That's well. Right. Actually, that the head coach is what we were oh, looking I for. Know. The head, head coach, coach of the U.S. Olympic <laughs> track team. <laughs> That's right. Oh, it stood to reason he'd be the head coach. Anybody that looked like that. Yeah. <laughs> I took that for granted. Well, <laughs> good show. <laughs> Well, I must say, Mr. Snyder, as I'm sure many of you now know, is, is also coach at Ohio State University and is, is remarkable because he is head coach of the Olympic team. He was the coach of the great Jesse Owens, but is not himself or was not as a young man a, a, a great medal winner, but he, he knows how to make other people win first place and second place, mostly first place. And you were the assistant coach in 1952 mm -hmm. and 1956 at the Olympics. And now he's the head man this time. What are our chances this time, Mrs. Snyder? Real good, Bennett. Think we'll beat Russia? Beg pardon? Expect to beat Russia? Oh, we'll kill him. Oh. <laughs> Barry, thank you so much. It, thank you, Jim. It was loads of fun. I'm sorry that we didn't give them more trouble, but uh, I think well, you made up. Well, 60-minute mile was plenty of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much Good for being our guest. <laughs> a very good beginning panel. Let's see what we can do with the second challenger. Will you enter and sign in, please? <laughs> Albert W. Hall. Right there. <laughs> Mr. Hall? Yes, sir. Mr. Hall? I can see an Olympic blazer here, which I'm sure the panel can too. Where are you from, Mr. Hall? Southington, Connecticut, John. Southington, Connecticut? Yes. Fine, nice. May I present the panel, Mr. Hall? As you can see, in an Olympic blazer. Will you join me over here, Mr. Hall? You know how we keep score? Yes. All right. I think we ought to tell the panel that uh, you're a member of the Olympic uh, hammer-throwing team. That uh, Mr. Hall was the winner at the Pan American Games last year and at the Olympic trials in, in uh, Palo Alto last month. You threw then, if my memory is bad, what did you throw then? 
214 six. That's 214 feet. Oh, my. 214 what? feet. How much weight? Six inches. A uh, 16 pound ball. 16 pound ball. Now, obviously, uh, Mr. Hall is not here to. Uh, in connection anything. specifically with his <laughs> occupation as a hammer thrower. He's got something else he throws. But you know how we keep score? Yes, I do. All right, then we'll let the folks at home and those in the audience know exactly what your line is. Oh, okay. All right. Panel, when Mr. Hall is not throwing that big old hammer there, <laughs> he deals uh, in a product, and he is salaried, and that's what uh, we're here to find out tonight, what it is he, he deals in and what his occupation is, and we'll begin it all with Arlene Francis. It's not the hammer, and the product is certainly not the sickle, I can tell that. <laughs> uh, Mr. Hall, is this a product that anybody on the panel might use? No. <laughs> well, now, wait a minute, wait a minute, small gun. Uh, you're hot tonight. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> possible. possible. It's possible that someone on the panel now, might use it. Under certain circumstances, it, we, we would agree that you might use it. We're not familiarly familiar, you know, with every detail of your lives, so therefore we have to... Agree. Well, anybody that would use it, would they use it by holding it in their hand? No. John is dubious. I wish I was at the Olympics myself. Okay. <laughs> I would say, <clears throat> with your permission, that if you were to use this product, we might tend to agree that in one form or another, there would be a period of time in which you would have certain manual control of it, yes. Has this product ever been alive, Mr. Hall? Yes. Now, John. <laughs> You're being too good now, because I've... Now, actually, I, while it, it is not in our terms of reference, no. it hasn't been alive. That'd be one down and nine to go, Mr. Sir. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Hall, is, uh, is there any machinery or electrical wiring connected with this product? Any kind of moving parts? No. Two down and eight to go, Ms. Kilgallen. Uh, Mr. Hall, is this product in any sense vegetable? Yes. Uh, could I hold it in my hand? Yes. Is it solid rather than liquid? Yes. Could a woman do what you do? <laughs> yes. Uh, is this something that we could all live without? <laughs> is this something you could all live without? Well, uh, uh, any civilized existence. Could we, could we go on without this particular product, if necessary? Yes. Uh, if I had this in my home, uh, would... <laughs> would it be kept out of sight, usually, when visitors were present? <laughs> uh, would it be unnecessary to keep it under refrigeration? No, it's not necessary. Then that's a yes. Yeah, that's yes, it would be point. unnecessary to keep that a uh, Is Would it be possible, even if not delightful, to eat this? Possible. Uh, is this product sold to people who have animals? Yes. Do animals eat it? Yes. Oh, ho. Oh. Uh, are they four-footed animals? No. That's three down and seven to go, Mr. Randall. Tony. Yes. They're not four-footed animals, but are they vertebrates? <laughs> I beg your pardon? Are they vertebrates? That's a good one. What are vertebrates? <laughs> yeah. Something that has a vertebrate. Yeah, yeah you're right so far. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> you sell a product that, uh, is used by, I presume, two-legged animals. Is that correct? Correct. Two-legged animals. Now, when, when your profession was announced, the audience responded in a way that uh, connoted, at least to me, surprise. I presume because a fellow associated with something as grossly physical as hammer throwing should be uh, involved with this. Am I right? <laughs> Ask the audience. <laughs> is, it, is it odd? Would it seem odd to, a, to the average fellow that a man as physical as, a, as a, an Olympic 
weight thrower would be involved with something like this, which I presume, therefore, must be very light and delicate. No, I think there we'd have to give you a no. It's an occupation uh, which would be interesting in, uh, oh, I think many instances. It, it wouldn't depend entirely on the fact that you were, are, as, as Mr. Hall is, a, a hammer thrower. So we give you a no. Four down and six to go, Miss Francis. The only two-legged animal I'm able to think of, oh, well, I think of two. One is a chicken and one is a monkey. Are they both animals, Miss Bennett? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, is it one of those animals that might eat or feed upon whatever it is that you handle? Yes. Is it a chicken? Yes. Oh. <laughs> now, let's see. What do chickens eat? Well... Mash. <laughs> Mash. Sawdust. <laughs> Gravel. Is it something they have in their diet? Yes. Is it mash or gravel or sawdust or worms? <laughs> uh, would it? Would one buy it at a uh, uh, a place that would just sell that kind of food? Yes. I forget what they call that. Not an agent. A worm store. A worm store. <laughs> it's vegetable. Is it? Is it a mash of some kind that you sell, or that yes. you have? It is a mash. Well, it is. But what mm. is the word? Chicken food. Chicken food. Chicken food. Feed. <laughs> Feed. Yeah. That's right. Chicken food. Feed. Now, Mr. Hall is worth... <laughs> you, Mr. Hall is worth, with the Worth More... Worth More Feed company right. in uh, Waltham, Massachusetts, right? But, you know, the remarkable thing is you took up uh, hammer throwing at Cornell, which would what? This would be some years ago. 1953. 1953, and you were on the Olympic team in 56. Mm -hmm. And you threw uh, 214 feet and 6 inches in the Palo Alto Trials. What is the, the best throw you ever made with a hammer? Uh, 220 feet. 220 feet, that's yeah. wonderful. 220 uh, feet? That's a lot of chicken feet. <laughs> <laughs> what are you grinning about, Ben? She's taking over this lady. <laughs> <laughs> well, needless to say, it's great to have you with us, and may we wish you all the luck in the world at the Olympics. I think we should explain the opening ceremonies of the Olympics are on the 25th of this month. The meet starts on the 31st, right? That's right. And we'll be all pushing to sweep the field with our team. And thanks very much, Al, thanks for being with us. And we'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just a moment. But first, here is a word from our sponsor. And now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity. What's the matter, Ben? Is it, is it busted? It snapped. I'll hold it. We're having a little trouble with the blindfolds tonight, after 11 years. Oh, wait a minute. But, I don't uh, have an extra one. Can I look? You got an extra right? one? Yeah, see if you've got an extra one. No, there usually <laughs> is one, but it's not here. I wouldn't wear oh, that. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Bennett, Bennett will hold his up to his eyes. As you all know, we, we do require blindfolds because of our mystery celebrity, but Bennett will hold his blindfold in place. The rest are all in place, are they? That's right. Fine. Will you come in, Mystery Challenger, and sign in, please? In the case of our mystery challenger, we go to a different <coughs> form of questioning. You ask one question at a time, in turn, moving clockwise. We'll begin it all with Bennett Surf. Are you a professional singer? <coughs> no. <coughs> one down to nine to go, Miss Kilgallen. Have you anything to do with athletics? Some. Mr. Randall. Is your field baseball? No. Two down and eight to go, Miss Francis. Is your field golf? No. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Sir. Are you competing in the Olympics this year? No. Four down and six to go, Miss Kilgallen. Now, you gave me a sum instead of a yes. Are you famous for something other than your athletic prowess or connection? Mm. 
I would have to say here, with your permission, that, that um, our guest is well known for activities outside the athletic field, but he is most uh, famous for his activity in the athletic field. Mr. Randall? Is it boxing? Mm -mm. Five down and five to go, Miss Francis. Is it basketball? Mm -mm. Six down and four to go, Mr. Sir. Is it football? Mm -mm. Seven down and three to go, Miss Kilgallen. Wait a minute. Is it something that can be played indoors as well as outdoors? Mm-hmm. Mr. Randall? Tiddlywinks. <laughs> can, can be played indoors as well as outdoors. Is it tennis? No. Eight down and two to go, Mr. Surf. Is this played by uh, more than one person on a side? Well, you've got substitutes. And actually, there would be more than one what? person necessary, necessary to the, the actual uh, engagement. Oh, oh, oh. Ms. Kilgallen? Uh, is it basketball? No, we, I said that. said that. Oh, I beg your pardon. Uh, am I out, or can I have another question? No, you can have another question, since that's been asked before. Uh, is a ball used in this sport? No. Nine down and one to go, Mr. Randall. Is it hockey? No. Ten That's down and no ball. more to go. Oh. And panel, would you meet Jesse Owens? Oh. Ah. <laughs> It isn't a record that needs to be told. He's the only man who ever won four gold medals in the Olympics. He did it in 1936 and rammed each one of them right down the throat of Adolf Mr. Hitler. Didn't I, didn't yeah. I oh, ask about all that? <laughs> didn't I ask a question about competing in the Olympics? No. no, nobody asked a single thing about the election. I have a question. Yeah, yeah, I certainly did. Well, he's not competing. Well, we, but we answered yes. That he, the issue was, was he going to compete in these Olympics? And we said no. There was no historical record about the Olympics at all. Now, let me tell you something really interesting. As I think you all know, that Jesse set the world's broad jumping record 25 years ago. It was broken last Friday night at San Antonio Junior College in California, I believe. That's right. Your record was... 20, 26 feet 8 and a quarter inches. And what is the new one? 26 feet 11 and one half inches. Oh, and it was done last Friday right night after 25 point. years. Isn't that that's wonderful? Marvelous. Yeah, that's great. Now, actually, Jess is, is going to be at the Olympics happily, there to give uh, moral support to our team. You're also going to write for uh, the World Telegram and Sun. Yes, we He's we've, got we've, his own radio program at home, which I suppose you'll be doing reports directly for, won't you? That's right. Yeah. John. So he'll be very much together in Canada. Do you remember, Mr. Arnold? Yes, we do. You remember that Canadian time? Canadian front page challenge. That was right. And I was telling the people backstage that I had the pleasure, and I talked with you, Arlene, just yes, a few... Yes, indeed, you I did. think it was the 1st of August. That's on right. Today. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. And I talked to Miss Kilgallen. I've been reading her column for many years. But, Mr. Randall, I haven't met you. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> how do you do? <laughs> Jack, you've got a chance right now. Why don't you go say hello to him? Thanks so much for being I must say you've done very well tonight, panel. Congratulations. Done very well so far, anyway. We'll all be back after this word from our... Thing. And now we've got just a moment to do something, and happily we've run out of time. I would ask our next challenger to come out, if he will, and not sign in. Just join me right here. Don, will you come here and, and sit down for a minute? This is, panel, the last one we were going to have for you. Don Bragg is a member of the Olympic team. He's the member of the pole vaulting squad, right? That's correct. And he holds the world's indoor record and the world's outdoor record, 15 feet, nine and a half, and nine and a quarter inches uh, individually. Right. Thank you. Don, I'm sorry we didn't have time to test the panel. Pell, just very quickly, run down. You guess, give me a guess at what Don does. Dorothy? I guess at what? Just yes. what he does. What oh, he you does. mean in private life? Yeah. Does he pole vault? No. I know. I just told what him. What is it? He's, he's in the army. He's a, right. He's a private wrong, in the wrong. United States. No, not in I'm the army. I'm a Army. private. He's a private <laughs> in the U.S. We just made you call for all. Yeah, thank we've, you. Don, thanks very <laughs> much thank for being <laughs> our guest. Stay here with me. I'm sorry we didn't have time to puzzle them. <laughs> but on this happy note, may I say, 
Good night, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. Good night, John. Good night, Tony. Good Come night, again. Dad. Thank you. Good night, Arlene. Good luck with your picture with Marilyn Monroe. Oh, Good night, John. <laughs> Good night, John. Some people are so jealous. <laughs> Good night, John. Well, thank you, Bennett. Don, <laughs> good night, and to you and all the members of our Olympic team, success, good luck, and always good content. Nice thank to you. have you with us. Thank you. My it. pleasure. Bye -bye. <laughs> The amateur athletes on this program appeared with the permission of the Amateur Athletic Union. Their winnings will be donated to the United States Olympic Fund. What's My Line is a CBS Television Network production in association with Mark Goodson and Bill Totten.